All right, guys. So welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange. It's kind of weird to say this, but we've only got two more episodes of this game. And the reason I say it's weird to say this is because typically we would play an episode, then we'd have to wait for another one to come out months later. And well, with this one, we have all of them available to us from the start. So it's kind of cool. But um, the last episode was absolutely phenomenal. We went, we attended the LARP. It was like this really fantasy sort of like real life game. And um, we had like little special powers and stuff like that. It's really hard to explain um, without you actually watching the video. But uh, we also learned a little bit more about the inside information of what happened when the actual mine explosion happened. It was all calculated and on purpose, but we still don't know who exactly was 100% responsible for what occurred that night. But that's what we're here to do. I hear from a lot of people that this episode and the last one are absolutely phenomenal. So I'm pretty damn excited. Thank you for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys would like to see the ending ASAP, just drop it a like. And uh, let's do this. Chapter four, Flicker. That's gonna be interesting. Pike, it's all on this USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. All right, bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Thanks. Talk soon. Bro, I really like Pike. I hope he's not up to anything. We are live at the Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over to the Lathe flower cart and grab a rose before they're gone. At Haven's inaugural Spring Festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History is weird. Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. <laughs> and if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. And an even better way to say, hey, look, a rose. Sounds fun. Is giving away a rose something I'd do? Maybe. I can decide downstairs. All right. All right, I like the outfit. For now, Damn. I'll grab the USB stick. Pretty nice outfit you got there, Alex. Looking good, girl. All right, so Chinese takeout. I think I'll stick with Minesweeper from now on. Um, this is the laptop we were looking at the USB at. I think I'll stick with Minesweeper from now on. I'm thinking this will make an excellent after festival snack. The shrine. Happy spring festival, Gabe. Booze. Happy stop, spring stop, festival, no, Gabe. Not that. Jesus Christ. I remember trying to pregame as a teenager and just going to sleep instead oh look at the look at the outside decoration really nice looks like the festival is already in full swing i'm pretty nervous oppressed rose traditionally you give roses to your crush at the spring festival so i've never had a girl give me flowers before oh wow i'm sorry i didn't know you cared so much about traditional gender roles I'll get back to my butter churning and doilies. Shut up. Eat first. Hmm. A leaky faucet. I've been meaning to tell Jed about the sink, but I'm afraid he'll try to teach me how to fix it myself. <laughs> well, hello. What do you expect, woman? You're living here for free. We've got pants here. Can we put those pants on? Don't worry. I'll come back. Yeah, I was about to say, man, we've, we've, we've had pants or jeans this whole entire time. The USB stick. Here we go. 128 okay. gig. Time to head downstairs. I haven't used that key I found yet. Maybe it opens this lock. Ooh. Now, where's the key, though? I forgot where the key was at. Um. Hey, where's the key? The dresser. Let's see what other clothes we got. I like this. Black on black. Magnificent. I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't All right, okay, okay. I like the kiss. I like the kiss. Not even gonna lie, I like the kiss, but this is look this look pretty good too. Okay, let's take a look at this letter. The world really doesn't deserve Thanor. This is Alex. Do not worry about me. The drive down south with my dad always makes me feel better when we have a lot of plans. 
the summer and we have a lot of plans for the summer he said we could go camping and it make and make ultra s'mores s'mores but with ice cream on top secret family recipe the larp was amazing you are a really good bard and i hope we can do it again soon i already have more ideas to you uh to fill out to your backstory to fill out your backstory banshees thanks alex ethan okay so i don't know where can i find that uh the key oh here's the key perfect now if you're wondering why i have this headphone kind of weird um i'm trying to keep it away from my ear due to like freaking infection i have it's driving me nuts so if my headset looks on a little funny my bad I wonder what's inside that drawer. This must have been caves. Make shit right, let's find Alex. Find owner of stolen Chevy. Reimburse Jeff for free rent. Return to Esther's Walkman. Donate to Lauren's detention center. New bong for Kevin. Apologize to Zoe. Really apologize to Katya this time. Apologize to Ira and tell him you like his remixes. That's a long list. And I bet he would have gotten through it. Apologize to the guy from the mall. Write thank you letter to Lenny. Mail check to Miss Franks to the broken window. She moved to Maryland. Track her down. Forgive dad. Oh, only if Dan knew you're dead. Fuck. What a bad one. Okay, so... I think... I think we're pretty much done here. I also don't think we've been able to go inside the bathroom. Like, does she not take a dump? Sheesh. Look that big old boot. Better take a dump. Alright, let's go. <laughs> stop. Okay, just stop it. It was just a joke. I'm sorry. I'm trying to make conversation here, damn it. Test, test. Check, check. Check. Holy shit, you own a skirt? Hey, guys. Happy first spring fest. Bro, does this guy have the same Thanks. clothes on? Does this people have the same clothes on the entire time? To you guys. I don't remember what, what they wore last. in the apartment. Something really messed me up. Hearing Gabe helping Charlotte's. Uh. Hearing Gabe. Let's go with Charlotte. See what happens. These past few weeks, I thought I had a handle on my emotions. But after what happened with Charlotte, it's the same old story. I lose control and I hurt the people I care about. I'm sorry. Yeah. Fuck that. If anyone needs to apologize, it's me. Ever since we've met, you've been there for me. And then when you're the one struggling, I bail. Not cool. I'm really sorry. It's totally fine. But I still owe you a new trophy. Let's play for it. Not to spoil the moment, but Typhon blew up their own mine. Why? I don't know yet. But we have all the evidence we need to nail them for Gabe's death. I got a hold of Pike. He'll be here soon. Once he sees what's on that stick, it's over for Typhon. Hence the celebration. <laughs> I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's coming on soon. You'd better be front and center.
Nice. Who's playing? Local band. You'll love them. I have to run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. Can't make any promises. <laughs> Text me when it's ready. Hmm. All right, so I've got to check. If I wanted to give away a rose. Steph and Ryan would definitely be on my list. Oh, so this is going to be like... Anyway, time to enjoy the festival. Interesting. Okay, so last time, last video, I got a freaking copyright strike. So I want to make sure that this crap is not on. It was so annoying. So gameplay under video or is it under live stream? Mute license music. Enable to mute license. I still got a copyright strike. I don't understand. All right. So we've got a couple of people here that we can interact with. I'm going to go start from the back. Doing this the takes a certain type about. of person. And I am not that person. Apple bombing. Steph. What are you doing, Steph? Hey, Steph. We just <laughs> talked, you know, but hey. There's probably music playing here that I can't listen because of the because of the copyright. The world's most unnecessary vodka delivery system. Maybe I could give a rose to Steph or Ryan. Okay, that's the rose that we gotta choose for Steph or 232. Ryan. Before we do that, let's go ahead and interact with these guys here. <sighs> this game is so demoralizing. Why do I do this to myself? Hmm. Maybe I can help him somehow. The jelly bean lady. Hmm. Another year, another prize gift card for yours truly to keep. I'm such a little devil. <laughs> really? Come on, jelly bean lady. That's not right. Hey there. Guess the exact number of jelly beans and win a prize. <laughs> Only one guess per person. The exact number? Is that how this game is supposed to work? <laughs> you can go right after this determined young man. Hmm. She looks awfully smug for a jelly bean lady. Yeah, one hell of a name, huh? This is impossible, right? Well, how the hell do we figure out the amount of jellies? Jelly beans. Hi. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. You're taking this jelly bean thing very seriously. Yeah, because the prize is a $100 gift card. Chrissy's been all anxious ever since she got lost. So I thought I could get her a bunch of treats, which is really embarrassing saying it out loud. Not at all. That's sweet. Maybe I can help. Oh, for real? Are you good at this? How many jelly beans do you think there are? Bro. Wait, 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 what the, what the hell? 800. It's always more than you think it is. I'd say like 800 or so. Oh God. Huh. Yeah, could be. Feels like something just changed in that lady by the jar. Maybe I should read her. Oh. 800's actually not bad. Hopefully they don't go lower. Oh, I was close. Maybe I should say something. Hey, I've got another guess. Yeah? I think it's closer to 700. Yeah, 700 feels right. But we have to get it exactly. Just felt that lady's heart skip a beat. I should read her again. Hear me, they're really close to 731. Who is this girl? Hell yes, your secret's mine. The answer is 731. Don't ask me how. 731 jelly beans. That's, <laughs> that's correct. Yes. Thanks so much for your help. You rule. Well, <laughs> no I want 50% of that prize, bucko. Okay. 
I don't think this thing is checking IDs. Nobody tell Pike. It happened last year. Yep, I remember it clear as day. Probably around 10 or 11 p.m. And he was already drunk as a skunk boy. And I'm not advocating for that kind of drinking, mind you. Despite my occupation, Springfest is different from the Lantern. We all agree. But anyway, he comes it's racing out of, of the diner. But this over a couple of tables makes it all the worthwhile. Jed loves this town so much. It's inspiring. I see him hauling ass toward the Who's he talking about? I get on after him from the park. Because I know right? what he's aiming for. It makes it feel like a and sure hotel. as hell, this son of a bitch <laughs> jumps right <laughs> off the end of the dock and into the water. Smack. Belly flop. And the poor bastard is so drunk, he forgot he doesn't know how to swim. So I jump in there after him. Took a minute, but I dragged his ass back to dry land, and we called him an ambulance just to be sure. He was fine, though. So then, I gotta spend the rest of the night soaking wet, which doesn't bother me none, but everybody keeps offering me a bunch of goddamn towels. The Black Beasts. Oh, hi, Val. They even looped you into participating, huh? All right, so let's check uh, check out this student here. This is awesome. Favorite time of the year, by far. That kind of enthusiasm is infectious, especially for me. What, no marshmallows? Come on. All right, is there anything else around here that we can kind of... Uh, I guess the only thing we have left to do Let's get the road, okay, right? so there's this young farm maid in the elvish countryside. Thank you, Steph. Her missing sister. Thanks for helping me find the fun again. Sounds like Ethan wasn't the only one inspired by the LARP today. She picks up mercenaries, the kind she never expected. I, I really hope this music in the background is actually not copyrighted. I'm going to be shook, man. What happens if we sit down Next here with morning. these guys? Let me see. Let me take a seat and see what happens. I don't expect anything too crazy. So this is that whole communal gathering thing everyone's always going on about. Okay, so it's just one of those sit back, gaze at the beauty of this game type of things. All right, um, let's go ahead and get the rose. Make sure. Oh, Eleanor, Seven. that's right. Where's the after party this year? God. After I just hope Riley is doing all right. Come on. Oh, no. Young man like what yourself, happened to Riley? you must know what the haps is. Hi, Eleanor. Good evening, dear. The decorations really turned out beautifully. It must have been a huge amount of work. It's worth it. So, we doing shots tonight or what? Of course. Body shots. <laughs> Who's going first? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> or am I? <laughs> <laughs> hey, so where's Riley? I haven't seen her around. She's not really in the festive spirit. She was supposed to leave town tonight. If it wasn't for, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. You were so helpful to me that day at the shop. If you see Riley, maybe you could help her too. Sure, I'll try my best. I better get going. Okay, so, hmm, what do we got here? Ryan, holy shits. Uh, Ryan, Steph, and I, I want to hear everything. We're at the stage. Me, know you're ready. And everything's set to meet me at the stage. On my way, Steph. Okay, cool. We've got also a message from Eleanor. Look at all these messages.
Eleanor. Huh. We'll make it as, pain as painless as possible. Okay. Diane. Toothpaste, bitch. Hi, Alex. Wanted to wish you a wonderful first spring festival. Unfortunately, I have to work through it this year, but I really appreciate our conversation earlier today. It was great getting to know you better. Yeah, you two-faced biatch. Dear Alex, uh, what a marvelous event. I'm so glad I could participate in today's live-action roleplay. It brings me back to the days of theater. Did I ever tell you that I once uh, essayed the role of a Falstaff in my school's production of The Merry Wives and Winst Winster? Winster. Winster. Uh, with enough liquid po uh, prodding, you may one day get me to recall a few verses. And though you for uh, and thank you for including me in the festivities. It's nice uh, to make to take my mind off of things. Anyhow, you enjoy your first uh, spring festival. I can still remember mine. Clear as day. Sincerely, Reginald McAllister the third. Ducky's a freaking drunk, bro. Severe major alcoholic. <laughs> Sounds like Ryan is ready for me. Right. You too. I better head back. Hold on, we gotta get this flower, bro. Where's the flowers? Um, right here. Hmm. Take one for someone special. I think this is gonna determine all these games do this. So, this is that point in time where do we give it to Steph or do we give it to Ryan? We're drugstore makeup from Seattle. We've got um, merch. Dude, count me in. I'm dying. Man, as much as I love Steph, I'm gonna go for Ryan just because, well, she was close to our brother as well, but uh, let's speak to him. I should give my rose to Steph or Ryan before the show. Oh, God, this is so hard. Fuck it. Hey, Ryan. Fuck it. I have something for you. Alex. <laughs> I wasn't mentally prepared for that at all. <laughs> wow. Thank you. You're welcome. I regret Actually, giving him the rose. What a little biatch. I Got something for you too. Put your hands behind her, man. Give her a kiss. Think we Do could something. Meet up after the show. Okay, who wants to meet up after the show? A little sus, but okay. So cute. All right, well, um, this is pretty much set. Um, are you ready? Yeah. Who's playing? Yours truly. Seriously? That's awesome. Well, wait, who else? Let me guess, me. <laughs> Steph. Who else is playing? I hate you both. <laughs> we didn't want you to wuss out. Wussing out is highly underrated. We haven't even practiced yet. Who cares? Everyone's wasted anyway. Just play whatever. I'll follow your lead. This is gonna be awesome. Trust me. Um, we've never played together before and uh, anyway, Sorry if this sucks. <sighs> Fuck it. Are they playing? Oh my God, I don't even know. <laughs> 
Oh my god. It's another one of those, just like what happened in episode one, I think it was. <laughs> These are so freaking hilarious, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, it took me like five to ten seconds to figure out they were actually already playing. I just couldn't hear it. Probably a really good song, to be honest. Yeah, there you go, Alex. Let's just sing it, girl. That's what I'm talking about. That is funny. I kind of want to hear the song. The songs in Life is Strange games are always pretty good. After seeing this interaction, I kind of feel like I probably should have picked Steph, to be honest. Kind of forced my way in with Ryan there. All we've done is pretty much give him a hug. No flirting, no anything. Dude, just stiff as a rock. Well, not, not in that way, but never mind. Charlotte. How deep do you think? The lake, I mean. I don't know. I felt horrible this afternoon. I didn't know if I could survive that feeling. Now, it's like when your leg falls asleep, and even though it's still attached, it's become something other than you. My whole life, I've always felt so deeply, but maybe this is better? There's no shame in needing to feel numb for however long it lasts, if it gets you through another day. I don't feel ashamed. But I take your point. Thank you. At least I can survive numbness. Good to see you, Alex. Have fun at the festival. Hmm. When you meet me at the rooftop, I want to show you something. Sounds like Ryan wants to meet me on the rooftop. Okay, Ryan, okay. Man, I, I love this town, dude. I honestly wish I lived here. It's freaking beautiful. God, it's freaking absolutely perfect. I honestly do wish I would live in a little town like that. It's, I don't even know if little towns like that exist to that extent. It's pretty small. It's like 30 buildings there at the very most. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe more or less. Upstairs.
I know for a fact this episode's gonna end with a bang. I feel it in my bones. I might be a little bit quieter than usual, but that's because I ate ice cream and I'm so stuffed. I can barely speak. <laughs> Try my best here. Ta-da! It's a tree. Thank you, wilderness expert. I was more wondering why. My mom used to get insomnia when I was a kid. She'd drive over here to the lantern, three in the morning, to work in the garden. Sometimes she'd take me with her. It's always been a special place for me. I hope it can be for you too. All right. A little cute. Okay. I should have been taking better care of it. Come on. You've had other stuff to worry about, like totally killing that set. <laughs> You're such a rock star. Thanks for everything. I had fun. And so did the audience. You know they're going to make you do it again next year, right? You, you good? Yeah, fine. Guess I've just been too wrapped up to think about what the future looks like. <laughs> Okay. So let's think about it. Alex's future in Haven Springs. The major motion picture. The ride. On ice. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. It's morning. Chilly. You can see your breath. You're walking down Main Street on the way to work. Where? Hmm. The record store, the Black Lantern. I like the record store. Definitely the record shop. Oh, I'm sure Steph will appreciate that. Before you ruthlessly push her out and take her job. Was I supposed to choose the Black Lantern? So after work. Sun's still up for another couple hours. It's warm now. You're carrying your jacket under your arm. What's the plan? Hmm. Play guitar. Go for a hike? Maybe I'm all outdoorsy now. A real Colorado girl. Up in the mountains with one of those little stabby sticks. Trekking pole? <laughs> <laughs> Not as good for stabbing as you'd think. Hey, would you look at that? Who's that coming down the trail? Who? Only the coolest person in Haven Springs. He walks up to you in an extremely cool way <laughs> his plaid jacket swaying in the breeze dork <laughs> yeah I'm not trying to get you to plan out your whole life but if you decide you wanted to put down roots Haven Springs will always make space for you was that a gardening pun no. Maybe. <laughs> I... I really care about you, Alex. A lot. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. This man a hug now. We're gonna kiss the shit out of him. Let go. Let's go. Get him. Get up in there. Get up in there, girl. <laughs> Come on, 
dummy. Kiss her. Kiss her. I really want to kiss you right now. I know. <laughs> Damn, all right. Okay. Holy shit. What the? F wow, all right. What? That is physically impossible. <clears throat> well, I guess we've got a boyfriend now. And, Sam, and, and Ryan's got a girlfriend. Okay. Want to rejoin the festivities? I'll get you a funnel cake. Maybe you could save me one. Yeah, of course. I'll see you down there. Interesting. Very interesting. We still got the USB stick. Where the hell is Pike? Hey, Gabe. Can I tell you something? I think I solved it. Why you died. Who's responsible? Isn't that crazy? I'm out of threads to pull. Which is terrifying, because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, there's just normal life. I was kind of counting on you to show me how to do that, but I think I can figure it out. I just wish you were here to see it. Oh, um, also, I kissed Ryan, so that happened. Okay, so are we supposed to stay here? Or? I think we are. I wonder what would have happened if we, we would have chose instead of the record store, the Black Lantern. I know it was one of those choices that impacts the, the story to some sort of degree. Not drastically, obviously, but... Oh, there he is. Alex. Do you have the USB drive? I do. It's all here. Bro, he's paid, Gates bro. Gates call, their secret plan, the cover-up. You need to come with me to the station. Alex? Don't make this hard. What? What the fuck? Dude, I told you, bro. I freaking knew it. <sighs> Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Coffee? I'm all right. Thanks, though. Good. 
because we're uh, actually out. Oh. Pike. Hey, what's the deal? Why am I here? The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. What the hell are you talking about? Did you steal this USB drive or not? At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. Sorry. You're conducting an investigation into Typhon, right? Everything you've been looking for is on that drive. He's paid, bro. Despite my best efforts, the case is closed. The order came down today. I did what I could, but, you know, the evidence just wasn't there. Sorry, Alex. The order came down today from who? High up. Boss's boss's boss. It's not my job to know. Look, what happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. I just handed you a smoking gun. It shouldn't matter how I got it. Maybe not, but it does. Wow, Alex, bro. You're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. What about the crime of the people that killed her brother, asshole? You know what? Fuck Diane. This isn't justice. This is a joke. It's not that bad. Hey, I talked to her, and despite how angry she is at everything now he did, tells me, she's willing to let it go. Oh, but there's a but. I can guarantee you that. But, but if you agree to drop everything. Typhon won't press any charges. She's only offering that deal because she knows I have her. She's guilty, Pike. Even if you're right, your only evidence is inadmissible. I think you should do it. Fuck that. I'm not signing anything. Alex. No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Come on, dude. Just look at the freaking USB. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Oh, my God. Alex, please, just sign the form, and we can both go back to the party. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is not an option. What are you so scared of?
See for yourself. Shit. What could be in that envelope? Fuck me. <sighs> mining company releases and waiver agreement. Time for mining company hereby referring to the releaser. Agrees to drops all charging on Alexander Chen. Okay, charges be dropped. One federal computer fraud. One state count of thunder. In exchange, the release must cease and desi desist. All efforts to fame, surveil, otherwise harm the re release or signature. Whoa. Okay. Typhoon Mining Security. Both Gabriel Chen, brother Gab Chen, died in an accident related to Typhoon Mining Blast assessment. Intel shows subject has a high level of determination and eff efficacy. Negative affection has persisted beyond predicted br uh, bereavement point, a period. Suspect also appears to have possession of confidential data and from What? H and B, Alexander Chen, threat assessment, 5-1, 525. Again, following subject after meeting with Mac Lute, uh, Loden, subject met the man identified as Brian Lucan, little else notes. Subject spent three hours in an apartment, Wi Fi screen monitoring revealed certain Typhon's history and legal allegations records. 525 subject met and spoke with clients in the Black Lantern. It appears subject has stolen an object, an object, an object from the client. <clears throat> Luke and Ryan, close friend of Gabe Chen, dead in an accident related to Typhoon Mining, assisting Alexander Chen with her efforts against Typhoon involved in an extremely dis distraught over, ac uh, over accidents. Subject has a high level knowledge of both geography and residents of Haven. Stephanie, close friend of Gabriel. Oh, wow. Assisting Alexander Chen in her efforts has proven resourceful and dangerous. Wow, they've got all of them, dude. Is this a threat? Are you fucking serious? What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I thought I could get justice for Gabe. Yeah, well, Typhon has their own idea of justice. Shit. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big, too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. I'll probably kill us Pike too. is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away. But it's not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. Fuck. I want to hurt Typhon so bad. But can I really put their lives at risk along with mine? Oh, this is fucked. See, I feel like if we sign the affidavit, it's it's pointless. Everything we've done up, up until now is absolutely pointless. So, yeah, we're going to risk it. Do you want to risk your life over this? Gabe, Mac, Alex, who's next? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Just keep your head down, Tony. You're just a shit heel. Typhon's major league. Typhon doesn't lose. Typhon disappears, people. Let them get killed. Not you. I know you're afraid. I am too. I know you think that Typhon is too big, too invincible. But they're not. I will bring them down. I just need your help. If not for me, then for Gabe. 
please. Fuck. I'll think about it. Thank you. Get the hell out of here. Really? Oof. Alex. Be careful. Oh, man. Oh, man. See me when you get the chance, Jed. I like how the table's a pallet. <laughs> Those pictures. How long have they been watching us? And what will they do if... I have no idea what to do next. Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. Hmm. First, I need to get out of this dress. I'll treasure it too, Ryan. Enjoy that ice cream. You know what's funny? Her shirt's a siren. I think that's a code name for this game because when you record the game with the uh, NVIDIA shadow play it doesn't save it under life is strange it saves it under siren and her shirt says siren I just realized that pretty interesting time for a change of clothes thought I was going to be able to pick up the jeans but that's not <laughs> Might as well go talk to Jed now. Okay. Gotta admit, Alex got swag. Every time she dresses up, looking pretty clean. All right, let's go downstairs. Hey, Jed. There she is. Have a seat. Something tells me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. You saw Pike arrest me. And let you go, apparently. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier today. I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. <laughs> I know you're used to looking out for yourself. Gabe was like that. But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But first, you have to let me know what's going on. Fuck it. What have I got to lose? Hmm. Typhon killed Gabe. I have proof. What proof? I stole it from Diane. 
emails and documents proving there was a second explosion the night Gabe died. To cover something up, Jed. Some secret they buried. I don't know what it is. What I feel like I don't Jed even knows. Know what to do next. But I'm not giving up. Not ever. <laughs> I know what they're hiding. Please, Jed. What's the truth? What are they afraid of? Typhon's the devil that runs this town. I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. I know what they buried in the mountains. Tell me. I'll, I'll do mine. one better. I'll do the miners? I'll show you. There, up ahead. Where are we? Middle of nowhere. About two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for Ethan. Five clicks that way is town. I don't like this, man. What is this thing? Ventilation shaft. They're scattered everywhere. Over the years, mines grow into mines, creating a labyrinth under Haven. What you're searching for is down below. I don't like this, dude. Are you sad? I'm sorry, kid. Jed. What are you doing? I tried to talk you out of it. Scare you off. I was sure those pictures of Ryan and Steph would do the trick. But you were relentless. I fucking knew it. Won't leave damn well enough alone. You don't have to do this. I do. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you can't undo. The Typhon made me a deal. A way to save my town. Give my boy a normal life. I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. Go to hell. <laughs> It was too good to be true. Jed, it was too good to be true. Giving us free rent and shit. Oh my God. I should have chosen, um, should have chosen Steph for the rose. That's fine. Alex is good enough. Nice moment by the bonfire. It's good to do something that everybody does, right? Alex didn't sit on the couch. Steph didn't make uh, meat out of the rooftop.
Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm in shock. I'm in absolute shock. Holy smokes. We just got shot in the face, dude. We just got shot in the face. Oh my God. Yeah, we're going to end it here. I need to recompose myself. It's not a word. Re re whatever. Man, please, please get in the comments below. Let's talk. Talk about it. Let's go right now. Wow. 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 That was intense. Guys, expect the next one soon. If you want it ASAP, drop it a like. I'll catch you later. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>